What we do here is pretty straightforward, but it's a puzzle piece. A puzzle piece sailors put together on land and underwater at Norfolk Naval Base. Every single sailor who flies in any sort of aircraft has to go through courses here. Taught by Lieutenant Amos Myers, who is no stranger to water. I finished my PhD at the University of Miami. With that degree, he now teaches sailors physiology. What happens to the body while flying or in stressful situations? For better or worse, the human system is the adaptable system. What I don't want you to do is have to do this for the first time in a real life scenario. In this scenario, the helicopter you're in crashes into the water. Oops. To survive, you have to get out and float in the water while waiting for help. It's survival training I experienced firsthand, starting with a 25 yard swim in a flight suit, then simulating what's called drown proofing. And you're gonna move the boat crawler around the best. The technique means you're supposed to stay above water longer than treading water, which requires more energy. I use the method for two minutes before manually inflating my life jacket. Sailors normally wear 40 pounds of gear. So I just got out of the water and typically they're in for more than two minutes because you don't know when help is going to come. Anyone that ends up in the water has to get picked up somehow. That somehow could be from a helicopter dropping a basket or a harness. God forbid something terrible happen. We want a very high level of training for you to fall to and give you the best chance of survivability. Training used at our next stop with the Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 2. MH-60 Sierra Seahawks. Mechanic Second Class John Antonio says the helicopter is equipped to perform a lot of missions. Directed towards search and rescue. We flew around Virginia, getting a look at the place sailors here call home. A home both Antonio. It will be my eight year mark next month. And Myers. It's an honor, serve the country, wear the uniform. Say they are happy to serve at and train at, no matter what conditions they face. Reporting in Norfolk and dreaming of flying my own helicopter, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.